Well, hello everybody. Today is um, March 31st, I believe. Um, so, yeah. Anywho, this is my panda dryer, which I have had for uh, six years already. It works perfectly, have not had issues with it. Um, and this is my brand new panda washer machine it's uh 1.6 cubic feet and this is actually the new version nobody has um put it up on youtube i guess i will be the first one it's very easy and what i like about it is that prior i used to have i have one of these but it's plastic and now it's all metal which is actually great and the great feature that I like about this is that it has a soft um, closing lid it doesn't slam at all and the futures and the agitation is just great and it's simple to use I mean it took me less than five minutes just to plug the um, the hose the the um, hose to where the water comes out from over here and the quick snap set that it comes with and you'd be surprised what you can fill now let me show you my older model um, which still works great um, but I just decided to get a newer one reason is because this one is seven years old already and as you can tell it's easy to move around plastic and it's still in great shape but it's all plastic. Um, it also has the hose. It has for hot and cold water. And I use it here on the sink with the quick snap as well. The only problem is that with this machine right now, I've been having a little bit of issues. Um, not big ones. doesn't leak or anything. It's perfect. And I fit, like on this washing machine, I was able to fit... It's pretty deep and it has a filter. I fit around like a king size, um, a king size blanket, not a comforter, but a blanket. And yesterday um, I washed this humongous um, blanket in there. I don't know if you guys can tell, it's pretty big. I'm sorry. I mean, this is a a king a queen a queen um double side blanket and it came out really really nice as you can tell it's a bulky and it fit perfect in this machine now the only thing is that um i really really like this machine the way that it performs it has a lot of functions it has soak, wash, rinse, spin, delay. You could delay it up to 19 hours. Uh, load size, large, medium, small. Temperature, hot, cold, warm. Um, and it has, I believe, eight settings as well. Normal, heavy, delicate, quick, bulky, spin only. Um, you could also use a control lock in case you have kids. It locks the lid. That way they won't stick their hands in there. You know, idle hands are the devil's hands. Um, it has extra rinse as well. Start, pause, and off. So that's actually pretty cool. Now, you'd be surprised what I'm going to be able to take out of this washer. I just did one trial of laundry. So right now I'm going to go ahead and throw it in the panda dryer. So, I have a pair of jeans. Don't worry, I mop. Shirt. Sweater. Another extra large shirt. So, another extra large shirt. A dress shirt. Underwear. Another shirt. Underwear. Um, some socks, another shirt, uh, a sock, another shirt, and, huh, 
another shirt, and a pair of socks. So tell me if that's not a lot of clothes that actually fits in here. It's a great washing machine. Um, so like I said, I've had it for a day or so. So now I'm throwing everything in the dryer. And if it's perfectly with even room to spare on top, it's pretty cool. The only thing is that over time, it just does get a little bit noisy. Um, but as you can tell, but once it starts warming up, it'll the noise will get less. But it's not noisy at all. And for venting, that's where I vent it. I don't have to vent it outside or anything because it has a lint trap. So I don't have to vent it outside. And the good part about it is that it's not loud. It doesn't give me humidity in the house. And if I need humidity, it humidifies the house um, normally, automatically. And due to my plants, as you can tell, my plants, they just love the humidity. But I also have a air conditioner with a dehumidifier as well right there. But um, for the price, what I paid for this machine was $200. And um, the only reason that I paid $200 was because I know these are going for $499. You can find them for $350 on Amazon. Uh, mind you, I'm not sponsored by Panda or any of these machines. I'm just doing a quick review. And let me show you why I got it for $200. And it was just because of this little dent right there. Cosmetic. I really don't care. The dent is not going to wash my clothes. So what's going to wash my clothes is the washer. So that's how I was able to get a pretty good deal on it. So right now what I want to do is, that way you guys could see the capacity, we're going to go ahead and put in a uh, bed uh, blanket. Sorry about that. So, this is a blanket. It's a pretty good size blanket. Um, this is a full blanket. And mind you, it's a thick blanket. So, we're going to go ahead and throw that in there. And it still has a lot of room to spare. It's just unbelievable. So, full size blanket there. And all you have to do is... Um, you pull the little cup and you can either use liquid or powdered detergent. I'm just using powder detergent because I just had some left. But give me one second. I'm not sponsored by Kirkland either. It's just soap that I had left over that I want to go ahead and finish. Anywho, now I have a laundry blanket. Yay, for me. Well, anywho, you have your side for liquid detergent as well. Okay? So once you're done pouring in the soap, all you have to do is just close it. Okay? And depending on the washing action, I'm going to show you guys what else I could fit in here. And you'd be surprised. I have a large um, double-sided um, heavy um, sweater which I would like to throw in there but I don't know if I'm gonna be forcing it or not so I'm just gonna let it do its thing first if not I'll throw it in with the um, with the towels but this is my review for the Panda PAN50SWR1 once again, I am not sponsored by Panda or by any of these appliances, okay? Now, it's soft closing. Let me go ahead and show you. Put a light. And what I do is you turn it on. And I'm already on my setting that I want, which is heavy. If it's flashing, it means it's bulky. So I could show you right here. See how it flashes? 
it means quick, bulky, spin, but I usually use heavy. And um, if you're gonna use both outlets, heavy and hot, you can use this. If not, just use the cold one and you control the tap however you want. And so since this is gonna be a large, I'm gonna use the large water. And it's gonna give me 44 minutes. And if I wanna soak it, I can go ahead and add a soak setting as well. But I do not want a soak setting. I just want a regular heavy wash, which is 44 minutes with cold water. And so, I don't want an extra rinse, so all I have to do is press play, and the magic happens. It dispenses the water and the soap as well. And it rather fills up pretty quickly. That's what I like about it. So, we'll just let it run for a minute. I know I don't have a hot water on. Why is it? I just want cold water. I don't want hot water. And I think I just turned on the hot water. Yeah. I don't want hot water. Reason is because I don't want it to fog up the window. But the fog will go away right now. Sorry about that. I'm using a little portable light. That way you guys can all see. And the agitation is just wonderful. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here. And once it's ready, we'll go ahead and um, I'll edit it to the wash. Or I could just leave it on and then I'll just forward it to the wash. Okay. Let me, once you open the lid too, it has a safety where it will actually turn off the water but let me go ahead and close it back down and you have to press start again that way the water can start dumping there we go it to fill up sorry for the noise that's the dryer my dryer is seven years old and it has more years to go. And it's a small dryer. It's a, I think it's a 2.5 cubic feet, but it's it's small. I want it up for the the three, the three point cubic feet, which actually allows you more drying space and less wrinkle. But you guys saw the amount of clothes that I put in there, so. Yeah. So right now it's just filling up with water. And these washer machines are actually pretty good. And I'm surprised because they have put um, sound dampening um, materials in it where it actually you can't hear it. I didn't even know it was done until it started beeping at the end. And what I like about it is that I paid $30 extra for the casters. So you could just pull it around wherever you want. It's not heavy. It weighs like around less than 50 pounds. And like I said, I love it because it's all metal. It's all metal and glass. No plastic. You don't have to worry about, you know, it cracking or anything. And it has um, a good warranty. So we'll just watch it fill. And then you guys will see the agitation. Agitation is actually pretty good on it. It's actually better than my older one. So leave it there while I fill up my dowdy ball.
well, this is my downy ball here, which I use, um, because sometimes I forget to come and put the downy on time. So, I found out that it releases it for me whenever it's on the spin cycle, so it comes out and it works perfectly. Sorry, this is my first time doing a video on YouTube, and hopefully we get, like, at least 500 to a thousand likes um, it would really help us out a lot unfortunately my mother-in-law passed away on the 29th which was Monday morning at 720 and instead of sitting here at home dwelling you know over things um, I'm here doing laundry trying to keep busy so I'm pretty sure there's going to be a way to fast forward this. The filling part. Once again, it tells you the time that it's working, 44 minutes, and it's extremely, extremely quiet. You cannot hear anything. Mind you, I live on the fourth floor, and of my building, we're not allowed to have washer machines nor dryers, but... Um, this one is an exception because it has it makes no noise whatsoever. So did my other one did not make noise. The only noisy one right now is the dryer because it's old already. It's seven years old. And um, but it keeps working fine. It dries perfectly. And it should begin washing within the next couple of minutes. I would say a minute and a half. If I had uh, the hot water running too as well, it would have been filled up already. However, um, I only have the cold water running right now. I believe it's on all the way. But, yeah, my sink in the, in the restroom fills up much faster. That's where I usually do it. And I hang the thing, the, the hose in the tub to drain. But this one comes with a filter as well, which is good. So it filters out any particles. But I've never ever seen a compact actually take blankets and stuff. So I was very amazed with this washing machine. And it for it to be um, 1.6 cubic feet it seems a lot larger inside however the turnaround um, is just amazing and I've been quite happy with it and I've only had it two days and I already washed a lot of things in my house I just can't wait for more clothes to get dirty that way I can wash it but my ultimate goal is um, I want to go ahead and get the two-in-one combo which is a washer and dryer all in one but as you can tell the agitation is actually pretty good that in previous models people were complaining that it doesn't fill all the way up to the top 
but in reality the reason that it fills up that much is because it's trying to prevent from water splashing out of the washing machine but the turnaround is actually great it'll stop for a second and it will continue so yeah it's actually a pretty good washer I like it and when it senses that it needs a little bit more water it's auto sense so that's a good thing so if it senses it needs more water it'll add water at its discretion even though it's on large It detected that I needed a little bit more water. So it adds more water. Which is actually pretty cool. Well, that's the Panda. I'll do another review, a more professional review. Like I said, this was my first review. It's a variety channel, and I'll be showing some handheld vacuums, especially one that's very inexpensive, and it actually seems to suck up everything and above, beyond. It's crazy. But once again, this is um, my new panda washer.